just wanted to share uh, a little bit more about what we mean when we say the medium is the message. Um, this is some, some stuff that was written at our first Agile Learning Facilitator uh, training program uh, that really kind of embodies that. We're talking about creating an experience of school or learning um, in community that has the, message, the, the real lessons of life and of that education baked into it. Um, so if we want our children to grow up to be independent, why not give them a practice in self-direction? If we want them to be motivated, why not let them pursue what interests them? If we want them to be passionate, why not let them engage and explore what they love? If we want them to be creative, why not give them the opportunity to design their own education? If we want them to create a better world, why not let them get started now? So those are some, some powerful words for me that I love coming back to because it really encapsulates the essence of what we're trying to do. We're not focused on content, we're focused on the medium of the experience. And so people who work in an ALC, those facilitators and the people who are designing the, how that community will function as a, as a business and as a community organization, their work is not thinking about what to teach kids. It's simply about how can we design this environment and create an intentional culture so that the experience is one that produces people who feel like they are responsible for their education, who know that they are, who can be creative, who are independent, um, and who, who experience themselves as creators and authors of their own lives, not simply people who are having to deal with the world around them, but can create the world around them. That, that is the real lesson to be learned. So the implications of this we can see in our lives all the time and in many different contexts. As a parent, um, if you were to, to say to your quarreling children, hey, you listen, you, you listen here, you, you be nice to your brother, you be nice to your sister. You know, what's the message that's actually being communicated there? You're saying the words, is the content, but the medium is one of, I'm older, I'm stronger, I'm in power, and I'm telling you what to do, and I'm saying be nice, and I'm not being very nice about it. But. <laughs> As a teacher, we, we hear people say in, in educational context a lot, you need to start taking responsibility for your education. Now your homework's due on Monday and don't, they can't be late. And so the content is be responsible for your education, but the medium is you actually have no ownership or responsibility over it whatsoever. <laughs> and that is the lesson that's learned. flat. I hear this term being used a lot lately. What exactly does it mean? Well, it means that this is a time in history where literally everyone is on the same playing field for business and professional success. The economy is moving so quickly right now, the opportunities are endless. Sounds interesting. Tell me about that. Okay. Practically everything in the world has changed. The internet has literally created one big connected world. That is so true. Technology has come a long way. Even my phone in my pocket is like a computer. My kids love it and are always playing with it. I think it's something we should try to embrace. Yeah, but these kind of changes make me really worried about my kids' futures. Aren't you a little bit worried about that? Honestly, I used to be, but I realize it's about empowering our children and the options are great. Have you ever heard of unschooling? Unschooling? No, I don't think I've heard about that. It's something you should really check out, or maybe even private school. Where do you learn about this stuff? I learned about this at the Education Options Expo. It's a really fun, great event where we as parents can learn about the options for our children's educational success. Sounds great. When and where is this expo? Saturday, March 25th in San Jose. Doors open at 9 a.m. Come discover the exciting possibilities for your child's education in 2017 and beyond. The Education Options Expo is just the place to find answers to your questions. Are you curious about homeschooling? Would you like to learn about apprenticeships? How about self-directed learning? Is your child interested in rap or other kinds of music? Does your child want to become a leader and create safer neighborhoods? How can students become independent journalists? What is ACT ON Academy? 
What is a holistic school? How do you transition from public schooling into homeschooling? These topics and many more will be discussed on March 25th in San Jose. Get your early bird tickets and save now. Plus, there's free parking and free child care with every ticket. Reserve your seat now and come discover the future of education today. Hey, I just registered for the expo. Super excited. Yeah, I'll see you there.